Oh, what's going on? Welcome back. We're doing a little Cuberton. Well, it was a fourth year Lingus, and I think no card wins me more matches than fourth year Lingus, so. Kind of going to get Lingan, you know? Get Lingan or get dying. That's what I always say. Get busy, Lingan. <laughs> okay. Easy pick. Easy pick. I mean, there's a Misty, a Steam Vents, Mox Diamond in that pack. Helm Awakening. Was there a Mox Diamond? I might just, I might just be thinking of Helm Awakening, but there might have been a, a Mox Diamond. I don't think Mox Diamond is better than 4th Year Lingus. Lord of the Rings cards, man. How do they work? I've been extremely congested, and I blame this dry, frigid weather. I like an Atali here, especially with an Alingus. Keeps us on color. Wandering Emperor also pretty good. I like Flesh Gorger, but, you know, that's just a general commentary. I don't know if it's a second pick here. Showdown is interesting. I don't know if I love it. I, I think it's one of these two. I kind of like taking a Tali and then just taking, like, any ramp that shows up. But, like, if, if Chalice or Emperor come back, that would be great. I mean, Atali's just really strong. Storyteller. Was there a staff of the Storyteller in there? Is that what you're referring to? Oh, yeah, it was Samwise. Yeah, I was like, I didn't see a staff of the Storyteller. Yeah, it was it was the two-drop Sam. Samothy. Oh, uh, we'll definitely take Fiery Confluence as a third red card. That seems totally fine. If Chain Lightning comes back, that would be great. I'll take either one of these dual lands as well. Or Shielder. I mean, Shielder's really strong, actually. Are we black, red, and splashing the Lingus? It's a great question. I think Fiery Confluence is probably better. I don't think we have an incentive to, to take a Shielder here. A Shielder's fantastic, but it's double black. And it squaresly put us squaresly <laughs> squarely puts us in black if we're taking that. Oh, what up, Chorwit? It's your boy. Well, a blood crypt would be nice if we did take that. Uh, also, an animate dead. <laughs> oh boy. It's what a revolting development. Could actually take Parallax Wave if we're white. I, I think we're just taking Parallax Wave and sticking to the black the red white plan. Parallax Wave is a wild magic card. I agree. Fiery Confluence does. Uh I don't know if it overperforms. I think it's just really strong, so it just performs, you know what I mean? It performs based on its expected power level. We're moving in July, and Katie and I have already started boxing things up. I think we're just really ready to be, like, starting that next part of the life, you know? I'm going to take Plateau here, because that's the perfect land. Mother of Rune's also decent. Yeah, this seems fine. You think people in general sleep on fiery confluence? Interesting. It's definitely possible. It does it all. It kills creatures. It sweeps creatures. It sweeps art. It sweeps artifacts. Like three artifacts is nuts. It deals six to the dome. Like fiery confluence should not be uh, not be questioned. Yeah, we're finally getting out of the Mike B basement. Oh, sacred foundry. Wow, they're just giving me all the all the good dual lands here. This is fantastic. Also dismember, but red white should not have a problem with colors. Can I apply to be Michael B? You know, Alan, I bet it'd be fun if you were our new Michael B for a little bit. You can be our uh our Alan W. Nailed it. Uh Cathar Commando's nice, it's just kind of versatile. Asian <laughs> Gold. Actual gold. Cathar Commando or Andoral Flame of the West. 
This is tough. I like Andoral if we get... Andoral has won me a lot of games. I'm going to take Andoral. Man, still getting Black Redlands. Is just Sky Sovereign here? Could take Black Cleave Cliffs for a splash. I actually don't like Revoker that much. I never want to play a Revoker. It's probably incorrect, but... Oh, what up? Michael Michael B. did not say peps this time, which is kind of funny. Oh, Skyclave Apparition? That's got to be better than Flame Tongue Kabu, right? And look, we could have had Shattered Sanctum. We could have had the, the, the boss-ass Mardu Lands. Yes, Wandering Emperor came back. Excellent. Could, have, could also get Showdown or Samwise. Oh, Proving Ground. Taiga and Usher. I don't think it's Usher. I think we kind of just want Taiga here. Oh, Blood Crypt came back? Okay, so now we have potential to splash green or black, depending on if we pick anything up. Oh, wedding announcement. That's interesting. When a warrior attacks. I kind of like wedding announcement here, especially with fourth year lingus. Maybe we'll just try like make some tokens. How dare you tell the chat it was my biggest secret. <laughs> but they knew. They knew. Michael B, Alan, it's Alan Wow is trying to replace you as Asian Mike at, in our in our home. Oh, a time walk. Well, see, this is why I hate just drafting non-blue cards, because then you get open a time walk. And it's like, what am I taking instead? Currency converter? No. Shit. Long hair, don't care. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I think we just take all the red-white lands we can so that our red-white mana base is easier, and then we can just splash this off of whatever we pick up otherwise. Also, Jace the Mind Sculptor. <laughs> oh, boy. I would say we can audible, but... All of, like... We have three red cards. And this can easily be splashed off Plateau and Sacred Foundry. And Atali, we could even cast. Oh, God, I'm taking Jace. Genesis engine, huh? All right. See, like, what would we take? What was the, what's the red or white card we would take here that's not Genesis engine? Dig through time, maybe? No, that's not what we would take. Shieldbreaker, Enlightened Tutor, Burgy, Fire. Like, none of these are any good. It's just Genesis engine, you know? Like, we're just taking the cards that the, that the game's given us. Swords to Plowshares, for sure. I If Spire Bluff or Staff comes back, that would be sweet. But I'm definitely taking a Swords here. Okay. It was not first big hell rider, no. <laughs> I don't know if that was a joke or not. I can't tell. I, I actually have no idea. Oh, Talisman of Progress? I, I would take Ancient Tomb. Maybe it's Ancient Tomb. Shit. There's a lot all these are good with Ancient Tomb. But I like the color fixing of Talisman. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Talisman here. I'm not gonna take Spellseer. Uh, Spellseer also does get fourth year lingus, but I I I, I don't care about spell seeker. It also gets swords. I'm gonna name all the good cards that it gets while I while I take a talisman of progress because I want I want cheap mana ramp for the expensive cards in the deck, or because I want to play four drops on turn three because I think that's important. Well, this turned out quite interesting. Michael said, you beat, not miss. So, you might say that's kind of a miss, you know? I feel like he missed. Now, now who's the misser? I want to take Deserted Beach, because that's a good land. I like Stoneforge in that pack. If Stoneforge comes back, that would be cool, because we have an Endoral already. We did pass a Skull Clamp. Well, Triumph is exactly one of our colors. I don't think we need more four drops. I think it's just Blade Splicer here. We don't have enough blue for subtlety. Don't care about these. Yeah, let's take Blady Boy. Oh, Batter Skull's nice if the if the Stoneforge does come back. Now I'm kind of 
now I'm kind of hoping it does. That would be a, a great turn two play. I mean, Genesis Engine, Fourth Air Lingus, and Wedding uh, want uh, Wedding Announcement. Not bad for token strategy, you know? Get busy token, that's what I always say. I don't know, this looks pretty good. Plus, we do have Confluence and Sky Sovereign in the sideboard. We have at least at least three lands. Plus a Taiga and a Blood Crypt. <laughs> Alright. Well, we could just take Archangel Avacyn or Thraven Inspector. I think we're good on threats. I think I'd just rather have an early play. Oh, Sunbaked Canyon came back. That's rewarding. Uh, sure. We'll take Shieldbreaker just because I want to have... Ah, oh, dang it. I don't think... Yeah, that's a bummer. I do not think we're getting that Stoneforge. Sad. But I do like Staff of the Storyteller coming back and uh, the Sunbaked Canyon. Adeline's fine. That's old Adeline. Yeah, you're out of line. I'll take a priest. Portable hole last pick? Sure. I mean, those are just totally fine. 14th and 15th picks. We are clearly the only white player here. Like, this is 17 with a lot of playables in the sideboard. Shieldbreaker, Confluence. Hellrider might even be playable with the number of tokens we can make. We have Adeline, Blade Splicer, Wandering Emperor, Shorkai, Fourth Earlingus, Staff. Like, we're definitely making tokens, which makes this a very solid addition. Oh, and Durrell also makes tokens, let's not forget. <coughs> yeah, we'll just take a Lotus, I guess. Why not? You know, why not? If uh, Sea Chrome Coast or Fire Islet comes back, that'd be cool. Frantic Search could come back. Actually, Esper Sentinel would be nice too. So, yeah, we're just taking Black Lotus. Oh, a Scalding Tarn seems fantastic here. Yeah, Scalding Tarn gets all of our colors right now. So that's pretty good. I think I'll keep the boat in. Definitely see playing Fiery Confluence, especially now that we have Sunbaked Canyon, Plateau, Sacred Foundry, and Scalding Tarn. Oh yes, the turn two three-fourths. <laughs> well stated. Oh, Restless Bivouac is cool. Lorien Revealed is cool. Oh, Ragavan's? Ragavan's cool. Shoot, I think we just lean a little heavily, heavy, more heavily into the Jess guy and, and take the Ragavan. Oh, we can also just cut Jace and be red again. And then be splashing two blue cards off of like Talisman, Scalding Tarn, Deserted Beach, which seems totally fine. Or we can play both depending on the mana we get. Lingering Souls. We have a Blood Crypt. Timeless Dragon, not terrible. Interesting. Badlands? Man, Badlands is just such a clean land, you know? I mean, Lingering Souls is not bad, especially with Blood Crypt, which we can get off Scalding Tarn. I 
I think Lingering Souls is just better. Yeah, Dragon might come back. Lingering Souls will likely not come back. You know what's funny? We could just play Taiga and Blood Crypt as red sources and then make our Leyline Binding cost like nothing. It also might just be Jitte. Which is a pretty pretty messed up magic card. I do love an Archon of Cruelty, but this is not an Archon of Cruelty deck. I love a Fallen Shinobi. It's either Jitte or Leyline Binding. I, I think it's probably Leyline Bind. God, Jitte's really good. I'm going to take the Jitte. Jitte just wins games. Oh, Bloodstained Mire is fantastic. Or is it Wooded Foothills? I guess it doesn't really matter. But if we're getting... We took Lingering Souls. I think we're just taking Mire. Yeah, I care more about black here than green. Solely for Lingering Souls, so. Also, if Touch or Godless Shrine comes back... That would be cool. A oh, mentor. Oh, Luminarch Aspirant seems great for this deck. I would definitely play a Luminarch Aspirant here. Wow, Path to Exile, huh? Also, Fire Covenant and Treachery are both really busted magic cards. Jeez. I think, I think Fire Covenant is really good, and we can easily splash it off Blood Crypt. And Bloodstained Mire and Scalding Tarn. Yeah, we're just taking the Fire Covenant. So Seacrum Coast did come back. Definitely taking that. I think we're good on playables here. Inspiring Vantage. All right. That's pretty good. Now we're just taking the lands. <laughs> Restless Bivouac. Sure. Uh, Lion Sash might be... Actually, Lion Sash is pretty good for the sideboard. Yeah, Timeless Dragon came back, which I figured... I'm fine with that being... Oh, Leyline Binding came back. That's fantastic. All right. Yeah, so it looks like we can just splash blue. Unfortunately, we just don't have a blue land to search for. Which makes me wonder if we just... Oh, wow. Touch came back. Great. Could have even been Tribal Flames, to be honest. We have Taiga. We don't have a blue searchable land, which is really frustrating. I was going to say we can cut the two blue cards. This is 25. If we cut the two blue, we're actually in... We're in 23 territory. Scalding Tarn is still good and still gets, like, Sacred Foundry, Blood Crypt, Plateau. We definitely could just run one island. We also have Lotus. I mean, it is Time Walk. And we also have Talisman of Progress. <sighs> what are we cutting? Probably Touch. And maybe Sky Sovereign. Is Sky Sovereign better than Timeless Dragon? Uh, see, like, even... I Man, I wish we had a Tundra or a Hollowed Fountain. I think that would have just made the entire deck, because we can search for them with both Scalding Tarn and Timeless Dragon. It's just, it's it's kind of frustrating when you're too... Uh, yeah, actually, one island gives us four sources of blue plus talisman. That's actually pretty decent. Yeah, I actually think it's worth running Taiga just for the, the ley line binding, to be honest. So all these lands get played? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, wow, this is a good mana base. That's a good mana base. So, is Sky Sovereign or Touch the Spirit Realm? Which is like this, I feel like one of these would be the third pick. Or the 23rd pick, I should say. Because that's correct. <laughs> Um, we don't have a ton of removal, which is worth noting. We have Parallax Wave, which is temporary Leyline Binding. Swords. 
Skyclave and fire. Actually, we're not terrible on removal. I, okay, we'll put this on the on the on the back burner for now. Um, it's one of these two. Like having to crew this for it to be a thing. This is two creatures that gets us a land. I actually think I like dragon better. All right, let's sort by color. It's definitely, huh, wow, heavy white. Okay. All right, so red sources. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight red sources. I, I could see adding one mountain, but I don't really know if we need it. Definitely adding one island. White sources. Oh, this might be rough. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, never mind. Wasn't rough at all. So this is blue sources. We have one, two, three, four. I think that's fine for two blue cards plus talisman. White sources. This leaves man, it's three, four, five. We actually get one more. Oh, geez. Four. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve white sources, which is fantastic. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Eleven white sources, nine red sources, and five blue sources. Yeah, that seems great. Oh, and a black lotus. And a time walk. Yeah, this text seems sweet. Uh, we have something to fetch, so I'm actually going to take a picture. Last thing you want to do is play a fetch land and crack it on a turn where you like literally don't have anything left to get. Okay. All right. Let's get in there. All right. Let's see if we can... Oh, I don't hate this hand. We are missing a blue source and or a black source. But turn two staff into turn three wedding announcement seems pretty good. Oh, great. Never mind. Got the old fun police. Tarn is a blue... No, no, I mean, my, I have a way to get a blue source or a black source. I don't have a way to get both is what I'm saying. So I'm missing a blue source or a black source, depending on which I get with this. Yep, that was a good hit. I mean, I kind of just want to play this. Like, they're, they're going to know about my whole hand. That's fine. You're gonna inquisition me. Verona. Oh, there's the blood crypt. Great. So now we can get an island with this. And not feel bad. Actually don't know which was correct whether I want to draw cards off this or make one ones because we could have played this the next turn play this and then attack with the two souls to draw the card oh what up Dan Snacks thank you for the for the raid my dude Dan what were you playing I'm curious if you play things other than magic you have to because that's just your job but it makes me wonder like what a fishing game <laughs> fantastic yeah no for sure man that sounds great actually there was I, there was a game that i was thinking of of picking up that was like just gonna be like for just like relaxing and chill but then again you're you're not you're a bandai now right so you're doing you don't have to actually keep and keep keep track of the gamut of games that that exist in the world I play, dude, let me tell you something on red dead one. I played so much poker. There was a time I stopped playing the actual game and I just played poker on red dead one.
we're going to Genesis Engine. Let's keep an eye on their graveyard. Rather really, really drop it in there, something big, so they can reanimate it with a... Yep, that's a good one. Okie dokie. Power Stone's incoming. Well, we're going to trade a Genesis engine for a Power Stone, I guess. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's great. Well, they didn't cast it, so that does give us a turn to use this and to find an answer, preferably like swords to plowshares or leyline binding. Is that Ruse Hexproof, right? Yeah, sure, that's fine. I was like, as long as that doesn't give it Hexproof, I think we're good. All right, we got a turn here. Oh, Jitte. Oh, Jitte. That's fascinating. Let's activate this guy. Come on, answers. Okay. Either of those are answers. It's really weird that like we play these games and then we play the, the mini games in the games excessively. Like what's the, what is that, you know? So we can actually play Thraben Inspector and crack it. I think we can just pitch Lingering Souls. And then we just keep one up in case we hit Swords to plowshares, which is kind of the hope. <sighs> this doesn't seem great. I guess we could also attack with both of these guys because they're kind of just not doing us any favors. Let's pitch Canyon. Because I want to draw off this, and I think I want to draw off the Raven Inspector. I think like we're trying to hit <laughs> Swords to Plowshares before we, before things go sideways, and we and this gives us two draws to do it. Let's say if you attack with two more creatures this turn, draw a card. Great. So wouldn't mind a fiery confluence, but that would have to be at the beginning of the turn rather than currently. Yep, sure. Yes. Let's go white, the ribbon. Crack this guy. Come on, swords. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. <laughs> yep. That's that's the that's the ticket. Oh yeah, you you draw and discard, you look for that that daze. Wow, that was satisfying. Nothing like playing to your outs and then hitting your outs. We also have six. This guy costs seven. One away. I mean, we knew what we were looking for. I have to blow my nose. <laughs> I 
list. Yeah, that's fine. That doesn't really do much. Oh, and we get a Jitte here. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, well, that is a thing. Huh. So we can actually kill this, deal one to everything, and then deal one to their face. And then we double attack Gris and they either have to lose... That doesn't seem terrible. Right, two damage to this is the only artifact that's one. So let's go one. Keep the black. I guess we'll play our land here. Cast this one, two, three, four. I think I'm going to keep, we're going to keep Genesis Engine up in case they, I guess there's no reason to do that. But we are going to attack Grist here. So they either lose Grist or they lose Rona. Rona could block the, the pilot token. That's fine. That's a trade I'll take. Hold on, let me blow my nose and make it not unpleasant for everyone. Well, that is unfortunate. But that we still put their grist down to two, which is totally fine. What if we hit Lotus off this? Like, I feel like that's good enough to... Well, then we should have done it first, right? I'm just going to play Jitte here. It's better use of mana. They have one card in hand. That's good for us. I think we're just passing here. Man, Rona's doing some lifting here, dude. Well, that's going to be problematic. Lion Sash definitely coming in. Just fingers crossed you don't have a reanimate spell. Oh, looks like we are in luck. It would have been a Lotus. <laughs> oh, man. Isn't that something? One, two, and then we can actually, we can equip Jitte and then also use Lotus to cast a Tali. <sighs> Interesting.
Let's get those Jitte counters moving. I took a three and a half hour shower yesterday. Holy shit, that's unbelievable. Baleful Mastery. Fascinating. Yeah, I think we're just gonna Atali here. They have one card in hand. Oh, they're paying costs? In Tomb. Sure. They're like, let me get my best card out of my deck. Okay, they have no cards in hand, which is nice. Sure, Ashen Rider. They're like, what do we not want you to hit? Oh. Mox Pearl. And Wandering Emperor, great. So you... But then she dies to this guy, right? No, because then we can mox... Oh yeah, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, alright, let's do that. So they're in top deck mode now, which is nice. This is fine. I mean, I feel like in the top three cards, <laughs> actually we get to look at five. So if, if fourth year Lingus is in the top five cards, I feel like we're just in unbeatable position. So we'll see. Necromancy. Roaming Throne. That's fine. What do you name? That's a weird card. Why is that in here? That's a very weird card for your deck. Trigger to believe another creature you control of the chosen type triggers. I mean, naming Archon. Yep, that's what they did. All right. Um, I think we can pitch Talisman here, and then we get to draw one, and then we get to loot again. I think we're just in a commanding position. Oh, interesting. One, two, three, one, two. I mean, I think we just pitch Lingering Souls. Spend three, four, five for Andoral, two to equip Jitte. Yeah, this is just gonna be the... Yeah. We can also Fire Covenant this for four for five mana, and then just kill Grist. I think Andoral feels better here. And all the tokens are two twos now. That seems fine. They're just gonna block. They probably won't block actually. I mean, they're looking for a reanimate and they have 14 cards. So depending on how many they have, one in seven, one in 14.
Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, we're definitely bringing in Lion Sash and Containment Priest. Wow, those are very good. Very good reanimate options. And Soul Guide Lantern. Okay, so we're basically stacked against... Take out Andoral, it's a little slow. <sighs> Parallax Wave, I mean, it doesn't do much against Archon, it just gives him another trigger. It's not great against Gristlebrand or... Oh yeah, if we do get if we do get containment priest, it's pretty good. That's a good point. <sighs> uh, I don't like our odds of having a blue source. Also, if we're bouncing something like Archon, like they still get the first trigger. And Gristlebrand, they're just gonna draw, and then you're gonna bounce their Gristlebrand, and they're still gonna have a full grip. So. I think Containment's, Containment Priest, Lion, Sa Lion, Sla Lion Sash, Swords, Soul Guide, I think these are all just more solid. Fiery Confluence might not be good enough. I think this is fine. I can play 41 here. Our deck seems very well positioned against a reanimate deck. Oh, especially with a Lion Sash and a fourth ear Lingus. Yes. Keep Arena. Let's draw let's draw a black lotus off the top, and then we can fourth ear Lingus for two on turn one. Oh, they're gonna get they're just gonna thought seize it away. Yeah. It's the, no, I would say it's the fourth, actually. It's not the first, second, or third ear Lingus. But that fourth ear lingus. That's where you gotta watch out for. I mean, also, last game we had six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen power on board. Because our first pilot was a six five, and it had two Jitte counters, so it could deal ten. Uh we had a one pilot, another pilot, so that's another two, and then we had two spirits. So that's 16 damage. Plus, we could just attack with Genesis Engine if we played something. Like, we had a lot of power on the board. Um, I think we just go get Blood Crypt here. It thins our deck and it gets uh, a Black Source. And 73 viewers, zero, zero out of five of the sub goal today. That's, that's disappointing. You guys are letting me down here. It is a modest sub goal. What's the hold up, Hellstorm? That's true. The disappointing Frank call is through the roof. So, are they still here? <laughs> okay, Carwin. <laughs> oh, man. Love you, buddy. Really appreciate you. you. Man. Carwin's the hero we need. What is going on? Are we still connected? Did Magic Online quit? Thank you. Thank you. Everything looks like it's going according to plan. Who knows? Thank you. Who knows? Kerwit, man, you're awesome, dude. I appreciate you. Go 
what I do not appreciate is Hellstorm 654, which I'm going to pause until they decide to return. Okay. Four minutes later, they have returned, and they played a Badlands. You got it. If you enjoy watching your Franklin Ford draft, pick up that phone now and pledge 5 or $10 and help us continue to make the high-quality Frank content that you rely on every day. Every day. On YouTube. On Twitch. I'm here for you guys. Blood Crypt. Get busy crypting. Hoof. Let's go this guy. Let's go this guy. <clears throat> play this and play this next turn. Hopefully it's not too late. Wouldn't that be awkward? Okay, they don't have double black, so they can't entomb and reanimate this turn. Yeah, that's fine. Whew. Well, I definitely want to eat that thing. The problem is they can just lie they can just kill our lion sash with this stupid idiot. <sighs> Do we just Eerlingus for two and attack Grist and then we don't get the monarchy? Seems terrible. I feel like we just bait it. I guess we're just playing. No, we're going to use this white, this one. Sash him up. Because then next turn, fourth is just better. I don't actually know if I get priority after this, so I'm going to actually just eat this guy now. <sighs> sure. I think they need the Demonic Tutor as well, in case they have, like, Snapcaster. Is that worth a life? Probably. We'll see. If this game don't comes down to one life, I'm gonna feel real sad, but this does make yeah, this makes killing Grist a lot easier as well, because now he's at two. So we can put one or two at Grist and then one at their face if they don't have a <clears throat> another creature here. Ooh, they might not. Oh, wow. That was good for us. That was also okay. We didn't see days. We didn't see any... Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Grist. Grist. Your face. I'm putting two at Grist in case they had, like, bitter ordeal. I'd rather get rid of Grist, but... they It, it was clearly F6 there, so... <laughs> Plus, if they had Bitter Ordeal, they could kill our Monarch creature, so we don't get the Monarchy. Which might be worse. Maybe that wasn't the best play. Oh, what up, Odysseus? Oh, that's sad. But we have the monarchy, so that's kind of fine. <coughs> Island makes this cost two. So we can actually keep Genesis Engine up. 
And then keep both Containment Priest and Leyline Binding up. That seems pretty good. Right, because we have Swamp, Mountain, Island, Plains. Yeah, that's great. Oh my god. We're just, yeah, we're just crushing. <laughs> this game feels very good for us. Yeah, it's nice because I checked my phone earlier at like 8 p.m. and it was still like 30 degrees. And I was like, this is perfect. Thank God it's over. So it's like 22 right now. At like 11, 10.30. <clears throat> and I'm okay with it. My nose is still so dry, dude. It's so miserable. 60s in South Dakota? That's wild. <clears throat> if a non-token creature went into the battlefield and it wasn't cast, that can't count, right? Like this has to be, it's a creature entering the battlefield or is it a, is it a planeswalker entering the battlefield? I'm going to look it up unless someone wants to. Thank you. Mr. Tasty, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. <clears throat> All right, after some research, I don't think Containment Priest hits this. Well, it, ne it never goes on the stack. This never goes on the stack. Death goes on the stack, and then it puts it into play. Thoughtsies, sure. Thoughtsies. <clears throat> uh, let's do this guy. Soul Guide Lantern, that's cute. Discard a mountain here. Man, remember when he had fourth year Lingus and they just damnationed? That was fascinating. They have nothing in the graveyard that I want a Soul Guide Lantern here. So honestly, I think we just Lingering Souls and Leyline Binding their Grist. But then again, just having this in play is probably better. Ah, we have Containment Priest. So one, two, three. Two for Lingering Souls. Two for Leyline. Yeah. Play this. And this costs one, two. One, two, three. Well, that's not going to do it, is it? We need, we need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have enough, right? Oh, we're not playing Lantern. We're playing... Yeah, these three, okay. One, two, three, big lings. <clears throat> I'll just get in there. I don't really care about. That's just an extra card. Yeah, this feels pretty solid. They have four cards, we have infinite. This card impresses me every game we have it. It's unreal. Being able to go like two extra cards deep every single turn while also making a creature and having just this like impending threat on the board is just really good. Oh, it's big turts. All right, well that guy could be problematic but I doubt they have a lot of artifacts. <clears throat> Swords? Swords is good. Uh, let's get rid of Beach. Jitte is good. Hmm. What do you have? Eight mana? This guy costs five if we want to swords it. One, two, three, four, five. Then we have three left. It's not great. 
could also just play a Tali here. One, two. And, and, yeah. Don't like that either that much. Could also just attack with this guy and, and jitte him up. That also lets us Lingering Souls. <clears throat> I guess they just block here if we do that. Yeah, this seems fine. And then we can Lingering Souls again and also keep up Swords. Swords and Containment Priest. Yep, that'll be good. All right, so that'll just win us the game next time. <clears throat> Team J, bro, thank you for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate you, my dude. Welcome, welcome. We are in... Uh... Round one, game three. <laughs> they have like no, we've seen no artifacts from them and then they have just a spell bomb all of a sudden with Kappa Cannon here. That's pretty funny. I mean, do they have, they don't have the luxury of attacking though. Oh, they do? Oh. Well, my mistake. I will go to 12. Oh yeah, I guess if their goal is just to get the monarch, e get the monarchy, be the monarch, be the monarch you wish to see in the world, <clears throat> the monarch. All right, so we just have time walk, so I feel like that's probably good enough. So let's make another guy, I guess. Yeah, I guess we're just pitching a planes. That attack was mad luxurious. <laughs> that was the shit of kings. Yep, all right, well. So. One, two, three. We just attack with this guy, right? That seems good. Now we'll let them block first, and then we can attack with it. Oh, we just win. I guess we don't have to do anything. That was a fascinating choice. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? <clears throat> you win some. You snooze some. Round two. Uh, I don't hate this hand. Double fetch. We can get Sacred Foundry and like Blood Crypt. Or we can get Island Blood Crypt. That seems good. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that little rascal. <clears throat> yeah, I think we just get Blood Crypt here. It's easier to uh, draw both red and white sources. And this can just be our basic island. That's a good one. <laughs> Let's just play Blade Splicer here. Oh, it just resolved immediately. <clears throat> That's a good feeling when you know your opponent F6 with two mana up. 
What is an uncrustable slap? <laughs> what is what is it? What even is that? Oh, you old so and so. Well, that was that was something, all right. Man, what a liability this guy was, huh? Yeah, am I right? <sighs> we could just play Andor and start attacking next turn. That seems pretty okay. Chat. He's saying Uncrustables do indeed slap them little peanut butter Sammies. Yeah, but they're peanut butter and jelly Sammies, right? You don't wanna you don't wanna heavily favor the peanut butter and the peanut butter and jelly. It's an equal it's an equal distribution. Man, swordsing your own golem token from a blade splicer is not a good feeling. If they play Minskin Boo, I'll probably cry. I can't imagine they would have attacked with both of these if they had Minskin Boo, though. Yeah. That's a thing. So if I Swords this and then I Exile this, we still die to this. And by we, I mean Wandering Emperor. I'm getting out tempoed here. It's terrible. I feel like I sadly do want to get rid of this, though, because it kills a lot of things that we like. Peanut butter is Batman. Jelly is Robin. <sighs> these are my these are my close friends. I guess we can do this next turn. <clears throat> I really wish I had an extra land so I can actually play this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but alas, no, we don't. Let's get rid of you, actually. We can block these guys. <sighs> what about a donut that is filled with thick milkshake? Jesus, God. Okay, that's fascinating. Are they just getting back walking ballista? Sure, that's fine. I really like bounce lands. Oh, that's actually incredible. Oh. Oh, Z bozy. Well then. Fascinating. Huh. Well. Hmm. Well. So we can make five tokens. We can send one at them, one at you, and then keep three on the back. And then also have a wandering emperor token? That seems decent.
One at you, one at tomato, and then I'm just keeping three blockers here. Is this until your next turn? It gains first strike until the end of turn, no. All right, well, Lingus and the Lotus. <laughs> Lotus and the Lingus, I guess, is really the, the play. Thank you. Techno Orange, thank you for the re... Oh, Kerwick gift and subs. Techno Orange, thank you for getting a sub gifted to you. Kerwick, thank you for the gifted sub, my dude. So we know they have walking. They can play it for six, which is three. Looks like that's what they're doing. Yeah, that's totally fine. So they can kill Wandering Emperor... And that's it. So Leyline costs two, which is pretty great. I mean, I'm definitely just blocking with three, three. That seemed like a pretty easy choice. <clears throat> Yeah, they're just going to kill Wandering Emperor here. No, you're not. You're going to let me activate it again. Well then. Hmm. Do we just go Talisman into Wedding Announcement? That could be decent. What kills us here? It's hard to say. It's the cube, so it could be anything. Uh, could also be Talisman into Equip. Could also just be equip into keep up leyline binding, which might be better. Let's see if they want to trade walking ballista for this this knight token that's gonna. Get busy. I mean, this becomes a 6-4. <laughs> that makes two 1-1s. One okay. So they can't add 8, so they can't make this a 5-5. Five, five. If they wanted to kill both of these, they would have to use both. And Leyline Binding, we have Island, Plains, Mountain, Swamp, so it does cost 2. But there's no point attacking with this guy because this guy is a 2-2 and that's a 3-3. So let's just look at the onboard stats and then we'll decide on the correct plays. Fantastic. Yeah, I think we just pass with Leyline Binding up. Keep drawing cards. Hopefully... Oh, that, that thank you. <laughs> I was like, I was going to say, hopefully eventually there'll be lands. And they were. Can I play a land uh, posthumously? Like, after we've passed the turn. Expressive Iteration. Why don't I hear one of them in the library? Exile one of them. It Does it show me the exiled card? I feel like it did not last time. It might have showed it and then they played it too. No, but that didn't make any sense. It would still be in the exiled pile until I got rid of it. No, it wouldn't. It would only be there until they played it. Yeah, that's correct. Listen to him solve the problems in his head like a like a chimpanzee. He's working out the math problems. Talisman? Sure, that's fine. Nissa. In response to them untapping, we're gonna binding. Oh, actually, no, because they didn't get a forest. So they're probably just attacking with this. 
which is fine. I mean, we're just going to triple block it. I didn't want them to untap and then be like, oh, we'll just make a... We're going to block with three, because even if they use all three walking ballistas, they only get to kill two. No, they, it's a it's a two for two for three at that point. Yeah, so they can finish off the second guy, but then Walking Ballistas just dies to two twos. Sure. Man, this game felt like we were doing poorly, and now it feels like we're doing okay. <sighs> Magic is a, a roller coaster of emotion. Is it six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten? This is ten. <laughs> I mean, I would be surprised if they didn't block. Block the really, you're going to two. Fascinating. Well, I don't think I want to play Wedding Announcement here because I don't want to take more damage when they have Walking Ballista out. I mean, I'm actually kind of afraid of what they might be able to do here. One, two, three, four, five. There's six mana. We're at seven. They're at two, though. Our board is pretty stacked. Okay, that's tapped. Can't access it. No access. Try Builder. <laughs> All right. Natural order? Now you only have one green now. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, the old Triome Sakura Tri Builder concession, a classic. What did we see there? Thieving Skydiver, which is actually pretty good against us. We have Genesis Engine, Flame of the West, Jitte, Talisman, Blade Splicer Token, mm, Treasure Tokens? That's probably not as good. Man, that's... That's a good one. This does exile an artifact or a creature. I'm going to play that instead of Blade Splicer so that we can get our thing back. What does it say? Return it to the battlefield owner's owner's control? Great, that's us. We're the owner. I'm the owner. It's me. What about a little sashi? That's an artifact. Why would he bring that in? Portable hole? What did we see? We saw Walking Ballista, Thieving Skydiver, Nissa. I feel like that game took a turn upon drawing and casting of notable Magic the Gathering card, Black Lotus. Indeed it did. We are splashing black for Covenant of Fire, Fire Covenant, and also the Lingering Souls flashback. Plus, it's free. Like this is, we're gonna play Bloodstained Mire and Scalding Tarn anyway, and Blood Crypt is just a free red source. So, I kind of like Sky Sovereign here. It can hit things like Nissa or other things, but they can steal it. I don't know. I think we'll just play it like this, and we'll see what happens. I feel like we did not see a lot of their cards. The biggest problem was them just like stealing our guy. Oh, that's a turn one Ragavan. Yeah, like, how many games do I just cast 4th Year Lingus and just win? Like, oh, oh, really? This is how it's going to be? Oh! <laughs> Come on. Oh, boy. Hilarious. Still be the fucking game. 
Well, we're definitely blocking because there's no reason to not block here. Come on. Isn't every Ragavan a turn one Ragavan? Boy, he wish. Well, we're not doing anything here. We can easily play Foundry, and then next turn we can play Wedding into the Lingus. Man, I was so excited about turn one Ragavan, and then they were like, no, no. I am also excited about turn one Ragavan. What do you mean sounds like? The Lingus is a disease. Is it just Talisman of Progress here? For a big, big ass Lingus next turn? Maybe. I mean, if we draw Lotus into big ass Lingus. You're going to spell pierce my Talisman? <laughs> you got it. That's just fine. I'm like holding fourth year lingus. That's wild to me, man. They're like, I'll just get spell pierce back. They got Ragavan back? Oh, they're just gonna play Ragavan. What maniacs. Oh. <laughs> oh, we don't have black though. No. <laughs> Oh, that's a bummer. Could have been a contender, you know? I mean, making a 1-1 one -one to block this is pretty good. You know what? We probably want to play this later anyway. It's probably for the best. Man, Black Source. Come on, Scalding Tarn, Blood Crypt, Bloodstained Mire. Give me one of the Bloodlands. Look at this little guy. <laughs> this guy's having a having a jaunty romp in the in the fields of well drain. He's abroad. What are they naming? Let's see what they name. Y'all ready for this? Flame Tongue Kavu. And they hit. They hit. Fucking eye roll, man. Come on, dude. <laughs> oh, Lord. Give me strength. Oh, well, they got a planes. That's good. So we Lingus for three. We can go one at face, two at Tamio, then they block either the Monarchy or the Death of Tamio. And then we draw a card from this, which means they get one more hit off this. Or we could just ignore, what do they got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh boy. I mean, they could also sack Tamio next turn to get Ugin back and then cast it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Attack with this guy. If we don't have blockers for it, then that's no good. Could just fourth for three, keep one back, which means they'd have to spend mana on whatever spell. I mean, this has to be correct. We just have nothing else to do. I was going to say, I wonder how different this game would be if we played Wedding Announcement instead of Talisman, but it got countered, so it's like... Oh, they just have a counter for this, too. Sure. Yeah, that's game. <laughs> Not even going to... Yeah. 
They would have they would have hit land off Ragavan. Yeah, all right, sure. I mean, didn't see any of those counter spells in game one, so that's kind of frustrating. Yep. I mean, Sky Sovereign definitely feels good now that we've seen. I think we saw Tamio in game one too. I just killed it pretty quickly. But yeah, let's also bring in Sky Sovereign instead of Timeless Dragon. Let's take out Parallax Wave instead. Doesn't feel great against them. I mean, let's go white or red source Lotus Lingus opening hand. Lotus Lingus. That's old Jimmy Lotus Lingus. You know, from the block. All right. Ragavan. I'll keep this. We have a plenty of white sources. We have like 11 white sources in our deck. Come on. No Ragavan for you. Oh, God. Really? Really? I can't, I can't get him once. I can't get Ragavan one time. <sighs> Come on. Why? Why is that too good? I don't understand. Why can't I have nice things? That's sad. Okay, that's all they did, huh? Oh, that's interesting. This guy costs four and we have three, huh? Well, I guess we just lingering souls here. And now we're just gonna kill you with an army of floaty babies. If you stop lingusing, you might be able to ragavan. Is that what Jesus says? Oh, interesting. Oh man, Godless Shrine would be amazing here. We want a black source. I want a second white source too. So maybe, we, I mean, do we just get plateau? I think we just get plateau. I think double white is more important than... <sighs> they don't have double blue. Yeah, we're just getting plateau here. Man, that Godless Shrine would have been so good here. So this costs three right now. You can try to do it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Treasure token OP. What did we hit? Razor Verge Thicket. Great. I mean, we got a lot of blockers on board. Do you think they would have brought in like a sweeper? I don't think so. That's fine. Kill Ragavan. Ragavan's done his job. Killing a spirit, one spirit token. What? Well, 
That's an easy choice. I'm gonna keep one back. Oh, cryptic command. Wow, we're one blue shy. Today's gonna be cast that card. That's that's a bummer. Uh, one, two, three. I guess we're just finding a land, or we can just play Wandering Emperor. What if we do draw a blue source? I mean, it has to be like deserted beach. That would be kind of funny. We also are kind of due to hit a land, so I think we're just gonna find a, a Luminarch Aspirant. Do we just play that? Probably. I don't want to do nothing with our mana, so sure. <sighs> well, Ragavan has been helping our mana, if nothing else. Yeah, figured it was Nissa. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just take three. Interesting they didn't untap a blue source. Like, I guess we know they don't have Spell Pierce or Mana Drain now. Sure, that guy's fine. I actually think this is a more threatening card at this point. Uh, let's go two, three, four, Emperor... Counter on you. And a counter on you. Attack with all at Nissa. And we'll just keep two guys back to protect to protect our neck. Wait, what? Oh, it's a 1-1. One, one. Oh, I'm terrible at magic. That's really bad. Wow. I always think this is a 2-1 because you always put a, a counter on itself. Oh, God. Yeah, this turn was a mess, dude. We could have actually eaten their land and killed their Nissa. We did neither. So here's what happened in my brain. I was thinking to myself, it sucks that the Wandering Emperor can never kill their lands because they get vigilance. I was like, you can never kill their lands. They just get vigilance. So in my head, I've already committed to the fact that like, you can't kill the land with the wandering emperor. Might as well not even try. Wow. This was a blunder of epic proportions. I just gave them so much, so much. I, I, if I lose this game, it's my own fault. That's such a, oh my God. I'm like, they have seven mana now where they would have had four. Oh, and my, okay. So my other thought is that you literally always play this on turn two and you give the counter to itself. Always happens that way. Frequently, because you don't usually play anything before turn two. It's very uncommon. Um, so I'm like, okay, you Luminarch Aspirin always has a counter. So it's a two, two, right? It comes and plays a two, two. <sighs> That's so obnoxious. Oh, they're just going face with both. That's interesting. Well, I'll chump one. My God. We could have literally... Oh. Oh. We would have had one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we would have had exactly enough. And they were what's known as tapped... Ah, that's interesting. Are they going to Vendillion click us? Come on, dude. <laughs> Give me a break. Great. If I get a land that I can play, that's a land. That's that's pretty good. All right. Hmm. 
Let's get the blood crypt now. I don't think they have spell pierce. I really don't. I do not get that impression. But let's find out. Oh, beautiful. Um, well, yeah, let's just kill their copper line gorge, which is their only red source now. Let's put a counter on you. Put another counter on you. The three, three will stay back. The two, two, twos will attack Nyssa. Okay. We've also reshuffled the time walk back into the deck, so it is possible we can draw that bad boy again. All right, well, they don't have a red source now, and they don't have a Nyssa. The cruise ship is three, so we can do it with this 3-3, this three, three, which is great. Now I'm starting to feel a little better. We have two cards on here. We can flashback Lingering Souls if we didn't already do that. We did that with... Uh, One of the Ragavan tokens. Oh, uh, it's just draw. This just draws you cards. So one, two, three, four, five mana. For that one. All the Nisses they're playing are very good. That cost you four life, though. You're killing my boat. That's okay. I don't. Oh, wow, they're attacking with both. Just the land. Easy block. <laughs> that just kills them, right? Yeah, they're just dead now, right? So what if I go one to each creature, four to their face? Like, let's resolve this first. One to each creature, four to the face. And then we're swinging for Xaxes. Oh, we're swimming for seven, actually, because of the Luminar Aspirant. Whew. Man, this has been... That was a match right there, even though I blundered twice in the same turn. I'd rather have my blunders in the same turn than over multiple turns. Round three. Remember that time I got Ragavan on turn one both games? And so did they. That was cool. This hand's pretty decent. We can get a blood crypt here. We're only missing a blue source. But man, if we had a black lotus in like the first two or three turns. Lotus. Scrubbity bubbity. All right, we're just going to go get uh, Oh, good. Well, at least they didn't play a Leovold. You know, that's the important thing. Cuz they had that good Leovold mana, you know. Paralyx Wave. I'm just going to play Planes here because I don't want to... If they play something like Questing Beast, I don't really want to not be able to deal with it. Uh, 
It's okay. They're only one, one mana ahead of us. That's totally reasonable. Oh, they didn't do anything. Good for us. Good for us, you know? Black Lotus. Give it to your bud. Give it to your little buddy. They didn't give it to their buddy. That's a bummer. Well, with nothing to play, I'll just run out Sacred Foundry here. I gotta look for those opportune times to not take the two, you know? Boy, this is a game right here. Oh, Sea Chrome Coast. Well, we do want to play Wandering Emperor here. So I'm gonna play Taiga. Pass the turn. They have not done anything with five mana. This is very fascinating. Sure. I mean, we're still crossing our fingers that we hit that, that sweet Latusi for our Lingusi. One, two, three, four. I have to have counter spells. Just have to. So we'll see what kind they have. They're going to choose which one of the counter spells in their hand they're going to use. Three. That's perfect because now they don't have any blue up. Ooh. Like it. Are we afraid of Force of Will or Daze? No. We're not cowards. We should have. Oh, it's Force of Will. That's fine. So they just lost like a bunch of cards from their hand. That's fine. Why didn't they lose focus there? That's interesting. Oh, they didn't play land there either. Okay. Let's dash that guy out and see what happens. Hmm. He survives. Well, that's good. Good for you, little raggles. He does not survive. What is this? Six mana. Huh. Yeah, okay. You haven't seen the last of him. Threat. Vendillion click? Considering Vendillion Click? I guess we just play this guy. It's just a 5-5, five five, right? Does a job. Crack the canyon next turn. They could have Treachery. But then we have Parallax Wave to Exile the Dragon. Winds of Abandon. Sure. I will get... We got three red, lots of white. I'll just get the other island. Because that will work for ley line where we have swamp, mountain, and plains. They have one card in hand. That feels good for us. Genesis engine. Oh, man. <laughs> Had a, had a weird feeling. You know how they do. Oh, you're going to counter this too? Alright, well now you have no cards in hand. So I probably should have led with this, but I don't think it matters. Sure. I mean, a lot of our good cards are in the graveyard, like Genesis Engine and 4th Aerolingus, but... Yeah, 
this is fine. Especially when we have swords for the future. <laughs> yep. I hear that's a good card. What do I know? Yeah, this is fine again, I guess. Why not sunbaked wear? That was a while ago. All right, let's play this guy. Okay. God. Well, okay. Is there any incentive to keeping this in hand? What are our looting? Future lootings. Staff of the Storyteller, Adeline, Fire Covenant, and Doral, Fire. No, it looks like there's no real point to keeping that in hand. Does not benefit us. So theoretically, we should be able to draw an extra card from this guy next turn. Man, they have Force of Negation and Force of Will. That's pretty good. I hope you hit nothing good. No offense to you. Not great against them. Draw a card. Jitte, where were you last turn? Well, they can activate Sheldock, so depending on what that is. And that's what they're going to do. That's a good one. Interesting. We can just kill Teferi now. Hopefully they play a big creature that we can destroy. Oh, that's a good one. Jeez Louise, man. You get Ancestral Recall? Do you have both? <laughs> that seems unlikely, right? Remand. Okay. Council's Judgment. That's obnoxious. Uh, great draws all around. They have to remand here, just because it doesn't really do much. And we'll just draw a card here, see if we get... Uh, it doesn't do anything, unfortunately. And they've dealt with all of our best threats very, very efficiently. What are we taking out? Parallax Wave? It's too bad you can't pump with Jitte counters in the middle of combat when you don't have them. Well, they now have four cards in hand. Oh, we just win the game? That I was not expecting. 
What in the earth? All right, well, I'm taking Parallax Wave out. We'll take out Fire Covenant, probably. Did they have any artifacts? Mox Emerald? <sighs> Touch doesn't hit... Um, Planeswalkers, otherwise it would be great. Yeah, Hellrider's definitely coming in for Parallax Wave. This guy might just be fine as a body. Everything else is pretty strong. I mean, this guy could come in. We could actually destroy something if they have it. Oh, I guess we took out these two, so we're actually good with with that. Um, yeah, all right. <sighs> Heavy breathing. <laughs> The heaviest of breathings. Pizza time. All right. White source is good. Well, that's pretty game breaking. <laughs> Give me that monarchy. Actually, just gonna put it on herself to diversify my threats. Well, they did not concede here. Are they getting time walk? Yeah, okay. That is a card. Let's go get an island. Because now we have everything we need. No blocks. Fascinating. They just go time walk into Wrath of God? Like, that would be really good. Let's go Talisman. Like, our board is good enough. But getting five next turns means we can play either of these guys. Oh, they're definitely attacking, then time walking, then wrathing, I think. Oh no, we gave them the monarchy? What was I thinking? Well, I, th I guess I was thinking they would block. Oh man, that might have... That might have been a boo-boo. That's not a Wrath of God. Nature's claim our talisman, sure. But our guys have trample. Fascinating decision.
Like, you have to block with everything and you go to one, right? Because of the trample, it makes this a terrible attack, or a terrible block. Like, this is six trample, so even if they put all four in front of it, two here gets through and two here gets through. If they block here with a 1-1, one, one, and they put three in front of these guys, they take three. That's actually, yeah, that's better. Yeah, but they have to block at least two of the creatures. Give me that monarchy back. That's not your monarchy. I'm just going to go Lingering Souls. It diversifies the threats more, and we can play Blood Crypt here. Force of Will, go to one. Okay. Yep. Sure thing. Well, Hellrider's a beast. Oh, no, actually, it's a devil. Pretty sure we have this game. Even if they use all our mana to Wrath here, we still get to Hellrider, so I'm not sure what they could possibly do. They have to deal with two creatures, then have resources to deal with Hellrider as well. So I think... Yeah, all right, sweet. Man, we did the we did the turn one Lotus fourth year Lingus, and it ended up winning the game. Boy, that card wins way more games than it has any right to. That's a weird saying. It actually has all the right to because it's very good. Some people are like, this thing is is better than it has any right to be. And I'm like, no, maybe it has all the right to be that good. That's its right. It, it can do that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.